The writing on the indicator button is almost worn off and impossible to read. It would probably... If you could reach the cloud, I bet it would feel just like a cloud. You turn on the autopilot just in case you fall asleep or decide to stretch your legs. The shelf behind the cargo has your trusty hunting knife on it. You have no need for it now, so you leave it on the shelf. I don't believe it. The world's only flying emu. And I have to crash into it at 35,000 feet. Must be my lucky day. Realising that your flying days are over, you quickly grab your knife. Ripper! The plane does... The plane doesn't need your support. Dad! <laughs> Why don't you come and have a look for your shelf? You grab the bright orange lump of polyethy something. Who knows, it might come in handy someday. Awesome! You give it all the elbow grease that you have, but you still can't open the crate with your bare hands. The plane doesn't... Beauty, mate. The plane doesn't need your support. The plane doesn't... Sliding the point of your knife into the lid of the crate, you manage to open it. Inside the crate is a first aid kit. You grab the kit and take it with you. Cool. There is no... Seconds before the point of impact, you think... Let's see the bank repossess this. Looks like you're... Second. Looks like your time has come. I hope... It would probably... You turn on the... I don't believe it. And I have... Realising that your flying days are over, you quickly grab your knife. Ripper! The plane doesn't... You grab the... Awesome! You grab the parachute. 
After all, it may be a handy thing to have when you're in a plane that's approaching the ground at high speed. Beauty, mate. You give it all the elbow grease that you have, but... Sliding the point of your knife into the lid of the crate, you... Cool. Dad, <laughs> don't tickle me while I'm trying to think. The plane doesn't need your... After a lot of hard yakka, you manage to force the door open. It gets torn straight off its hinges. And, and so do you. Start, Start flapping your arms, Dan. Whoa! You can't use the parachute with that. You can't use the parachute with that. You can't use the parachute with that. You can't use... You can't use the parachute. You can't use the parachute with that. You can't use the parachute with that. <coughs> this is no time for violence, Dan. Just try and keep out of their way. There is no... What a marvellous bird is the pelican. His beak can hold more than his belly can. Get hit in the head by one, you're sure to be dead, my son. A marvellous bird is the pelican. Might I suggest you restore or restart your game? Looks like you're... T I hope... Don't be such a vandal. There is no point in doing that. You already have the only first aid kit that was in the crate. The plane doesn't... After a lot of hard yakka, you manage to force the door open. It gets torn straight off its hinges. And so do you. Whoa! There's not a lot to... There's... <coughs> what a marvellous bird! This side of the door is welded shut for safety reasons. You can't budge it. After a lot of hard yakka, you manage to force the door open. It gets torn straight off its hinges. And, and so, so do you. Start, Start flapping your arms, Dan. Whoa! It would not be wise to throw away your piece of It would not be <coughs> What a marvelous Forget it Dan Looks like Don't be
After a lot of hard yakka, you manage to force the door open. It gets torn straight off its hinges. Start flat. Whoa! There's not a lot to see. You can't use the parachute. You grasping at thin air will get you nowhere. What a shame. It a I'm afraid that... Don't be so... There is no point in doing that. You may need an edge later. Don't be s There is no... There is no... Don't be s I'm afraid that taking your own life is... Don't be s Don't be... Don't be... Don't... Be don't... Don't... There is... Don't be... Rotten bloody harness. Don't be. There is no. Don't be. There is. Don't be. I'm afraid. I'm afraid that taking your own life is not very. You decide to relieve the boredom by cutting some cord from the chute. Who knows what it could be used for? Just ask MacGyver. Choice. There is no point. Having the intelligence of three brain surgeons, you decide to use your knife to cut yourself out of your jammed harness. All right! <clears throat> A quick lesson in physics. Two pieces of matter can't occupy the same space at the same time. One of them has to give. In this case, it was your head. Unfortunately, your practical physics lesson has made you lose your memory. About the only thing you can remember is your name and the lyrics to Barry Mannheim Lowe's greatest hits. Life can be so cruel. You look around the clearing and wonder how you got there. Your basic survival instincts take over. I want my mummy. You don't need any... Wow! Scored myself a perfectly good stick. Don't waste your time. You don't need to do that. Stop. Oh! Gravity has a lot to answer for. Might I suggest? Looks like. I hope.
Wow! Scored myself a perfectly good stick. The bush is thick and lush. Looks like an old campfire site. Sandstone. Sandstone. The sandstone cliffs look impossible to climb. You notice a little cave on a small ledge. Well done, Dan. You just recovered a strange looking piece of paper from the cave. Wonder if it's a map of some kind. Way to go. You have no reason to touch it. Cool. Looks like an old campfire site. You add some fuel. You see nothing unusual. The sandstone cliff. Start flapping your arms real hard, Dan. Oh! Gravity has a... Looks like...